And welcome back to the channel guys, tool reviews of tools I use. Uh, today I'm going to be going over my maintenance tools that I use on my petrol powered tools such as uh, lawn mowers, chainsaws, uh, pressure washers, anything like that. I'm going to show you what I carry. So I just keep it in a little case, it's like a power tool case that you can buy retrospectively. I think this is the medium size, uh, it just works perfectly for what I need. It's nice and compact, doesn't take much space. So within it, it's got everything I need. Within reason, I keep uh, lawnmower blades. I keep a little kind of service manual of my tools so that I can keep track of what I've done and when. Uh, it's really just useful to keep on top of it. It's really easy to forget how long it was since you've carried out a certain action on something. Uh, I keep air duster, uh, especially with things like lawnmowers where you've got grass in all places that are difficult to get to with a brush or anything. You can just give it a little squirt of that and it just blows it all out of the way, keeps things clean. Just a nice cheap one from Pound Shop. Uh, I've got an air filter for the lawnmower here. Briggs and Stratton one that I've got. Oh, and I've got little carburetor gaskets just here. A little bunch of them there. Just keep them nice and clean in that bag. Keep a wire brush with a nice scraper on top. Uh, just cleaning the decks of uh, lawn mowers underneath. These are absolutely ideal. Just get all the rubbish out from them every year. I try and give them a really, really good clean out uh, so that I'll put them away clean. They're a lot less likely to corrode and rust up. I've got a little tiny brush here. It's mainly just for keeping on top of spark plugs and things like that, but anything small you need to get into, just little soft uh, brass bris bristles on that one. Uh, this is called a spid brush, it's not the branded one but it works really good, anything that this doesn't fit into, this one's got that nice little curve uh, to really get in there and, and clean things out, I wouldn't be without this. I keep a couple of sets of pliers, nice pointy ones for uh, getting dirt out, pulling things, retrieving things, anything like that. Needle nose are always useful, it's got a little cutter on it, same with these combination pliers. I can cut cable with it, I can grip things. Just useful to have a little selection of those. They're just made by Draper, just cheap ones. Keep a nice little mini channel locks. Very good, very useful. Use them on bolts, use them just for general gripping. Uh, I don't need much bigger than this in a uh, lawnmower servicing pack. This works perfectly. Got a few little materials, bits and pieces. This is uh, bulbs for fuel priming. You're going to go through quite a lot of those, so it's good to have a few of those handy. I keep spark plugs. Nice selection of spark plugs for the various machinery. Good to have. And I keep scarifier tines for an electric scarifier I've got. It's just a little small one. Just keep a bunch of those in there. Another little wire brush. Got a 6-in-1 type screwdriver. Very useful, gives you lots of options. These sort of tools, you'll get with a lot of power tools, you'll get these free. Where you can just work with spark plugs with the various wrenches. Use these quite a lot, just because they're just handy. They come with screwdrivers and uh, like that'll work on some sump plugs and things. Just uh, well worth keeping. There you go, small set of needle nose pliers. Very good. Bungee cord. Sometimes use this if I want to elevate the lawnmower without tipping it over or, or anything. I can just kind of strap this up to, to places. Um, and if I want to keep a lawnmower running, I can wrap it around the handle, keep it running for a good little while. 
if I want to burn off some fuel or something, it's just useful to have. Keep a Stanley utility knife. This is a Crescent wrench or adjustable spanner made by Crescent. This one, really nice, useful. Uh, this is a chainsaw uh, blade sharpener, just a little metal file, a round shape, and a little nut spinner here. You just stick your various little quarter inch sockets on there. Really, really good to have. Usually you're not using high amounts of torque, so you don't, you don't necessarily need to use a a ratchet handle or anything like that, just something like this will undo most bolts, so it's good to have in there. And I keep a nice little selection of deep sockets, longer ones here and short ones there. A lot of imperial sizes because I'm working with Briggs and Stratton, so ideal. Keep a selection of spanners. Again, just nice small ones, mix of Imperial and Metric in there, all made by Craftsman these ones. And I've got some Craftsman screwdrivers here, so I've got a Phillips, a slotted, and I've got this short one, which is uh, really, really nice. I, I use this on the air filter. Uh, I just seem to pick this one out every time. It just works really good. Uh, just getting that top screw open. Briggs and Stratton. Uh, just for spark plugs. I think I actually bought this one. But over time I've just acquired those other ones there. Really, really handy. Go, little pry bar scraper, cable ties. Uh, I'm often having to cut a lot of these when I'm working on uh, small engines. Uh, you can just replace them afterwards for keeping cables and things uh, out of the way. Uh, really, really good to have a bunch of them. Little punch. Another set of blades, and this big Briggs and Stratton tool is just designed for a sump plug. Uh, I don't normally use this on my lawnmower. I bought it thinking it would work, and never actually ended up using it. So it's just in there for if I ever do need it. So that guys is, uh, is all my tools. It saves me a lot of money being able to work on my own tools rather than paying someone else and having any kind of downtime. Uh, for the petrol powered tools really pays off to learn what you're doing build up the skills and doing it yourself It doesn't take much time uh, So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time